Hello, hello! Welcome to another tutorial video from Analytics Voyage. Today, I would like to go through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the latest version of MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. Are you ready? Let's go! First thing first, open up your web browser. I'm using Chrome, but feel free to use whatever you are feeling more comfortable with. Now head over to your favorite search engine, for me it's Google, and type in MySQL download. Then click on the official website, which is mysql.com. And once you're on the website, make sure you're in the download section at the top. From there, select MySQL Community GPL Downloads. In the last section of the page, you'll find MySQL Installer for Windows. On the download page, you'll see the current MySQL version listed. Right now, it is MySQL 8.0.34, and it is compatible with both 32-bit and 64-bit systems. If you need an older version, you can find them in the archive section at the top. For this tutorial, let's just go with the latest version. Click on the second link, which is the MSI installer 331 megabyte. After clicking on the download link, you will be directed to another page. Just click on the no thanks, just start my download. Select the path for the file to be saved. And now your download is started. Once your download is complete, open the file to start the installation process. You should just give it some time. Okay, here we go. Now, it's better to select the custom option so you have more control over the components you're installing and then click next. Under the MySQL server, select the version that you installed and use the green arrow to move it to the right box. Do the same thing for MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell. Also under the Documentation tab, there is an option for Samples and Example which is optional, it's not mandatory, but it's gonna be very useful, specifically if you're new to MySQL. Then click Next, and then click Execute. It takes a while for these packages to be installed, so just be patient. After the installation is complete, click Next. And then in the product configuration, click Next. Leave all the default options in the type and networking window and then click Next. For the authentication method, do the same. Just click Next. Now set a password for the root user. Make sure you remember the password as you'll need it later for sure. And then once you're done, click Next. Again, leave all the options for the Windows service as default and then click Next. For the server file permission, select the first option and grant full access and then click Next. In the Apply configuration, click on Execute to start the configuration process. It may take a few moments, but once it is done, click Finish. And then for the product configuration, click Next. And now you simply just enter the password that you set earlier and then click Check. The green checkbox indicate that the con connection was successful. And then click Next and then click Execute. Now Finish. And then one more next and then finish. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the installation process for MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. 
To access MySQL Workbench, just simply search for it in the Windows search bar. Click on MySQL Connections to log in and use the same password you set for the root user. Don't forget to click the Save Password for your convenience. Now you're all set to use MySQL Workbench for managing your databases. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.